I had my first hip replaced in April of 2012. At that time, I found out that really both of them were shot. It's just that the right one hurt a lot. Um, they told me at the time that I'm gonna probably be back when the pain in the left one got to the point where it had to be attended to. Um, about five years later, I was back. Uh, I had no cartilage at all. And the hip had deteriorated to the point where I could feel the bones rubbing against each other. Uh, I had made so many accommodations in how I walked, how I stood, how I moved. Um, the quality of life suffered a lot. It was time, it was time. Uh, playing with the grandkids, you know, one's three, the other one's eight, and you know, they're just children, and, and they want to play and do what kids do. And uh, you know, come on, let's play outside. Uh, I don't think so, you know. And you, you just can't live the way. I couldn't anyhow. I was operated on the 16th of April. I made an appointment here for the 23rd for the evaluation, and my last appointment here was June 1st. And to be quite honest with you, I can't begin to tell you how thrilled I was with my progress. I could feel myself get better and stronger every day. I remember very vividly the first time I was asked to lay on one of the tables and do a leg lift. I'll remember that forever. Um, I was having no real difficulty with the other exercises until I was asked to do a leg lift. And no matter how hard I tried, that leg wouldn't move. I mean, I'm sweating, I'm grunting, and that leg is just laying there. I couldn't move it. Ben told me, be patient, a couple visits, you're gonna be doing leg lifts. About two weeks later, I did 20 of them. I was thrilled. I mean, it was work, but I did it. I did it. It's less than two months post-surgery for me right now, as you and I are talking. Every bone in my body wants to go out and work in the yard, work around the house. I have a treadmill at home. I do a mile on the treadmill, and I'm up in the speed a little bit every couple of days, and I don't break a sweat. So I'm doing the things that I want to do. I was lucky to be able to walk before I had surgery. Now I'm on a treadmill or going up and down the stairs, holding for dear life on the rail and doing one step at a time. I still hold on to the rail, but I can go up and down, no, no problem. Yesterday I played catch with my grandson out in the yard and we threw grounders and you know, I, he pitched to me and I was the catcher, things that I couldn't do before. So I got something back that I lost. I love this place. I really do. Every time that I came here, I was greeted a way that they made me feel they were happy to see me. That was really important to me. It, it truly was. 